Shannon from the Heights has a question about foundation types. Yeah, she's looking at a new build in the Houston Heights area, Tom, and she noticed, Shannon writes, that I noticed some builders either use pier and beam or block and beam foundations. <laughs> she wants to know which one is better and most cost effective over the long term, especially since that area is so prone to drought and flooding. Actually, the pier and beam or the prim I'm going to call it a perimeter wall foundation. Okay. You can use blocks. You can use concrete uh, poured in place. Uh, usually, it's a combination of both. As long as it's designed by an engineer properly, I don't care which way you go with it as far as that goes. And the reason I like it better is you have less contact with the ground. Mm -hmm. So a slab has almost 100% contact with the ground, so it's getting moved all over the place. But this is only around the, the wall and then probably some interior supports too. But it has less contact with the ground, which means less movement. I imagine you drive those 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 piers down pretty deep. If you have to, but sometimes you pour a beam in the ground. Okay. So it's a, they're different design techniques with it. But if they have to go with piers, I don't know if it's going to be that deep. Probably somewhere between 10 and 15 feet. I find when you walk into a pier and beam house, it just feels different in it. You know? It's actually a healthier home. Is it? You can control termites better. Uh, it's a softer floor on your joints. You know, we have knee replacements and hip replacements going along like crazy because everybody's living on concrete today. You never leave concrete. Charlie, I bet you haven't walked out in the grass in a long time. <laughs> I was grazing on the grass there just you the go. other day. Now, but think about it. You get up on your concrete slab. You go out to the driveway. You get in your mm -hmm. car. Right. You drive. You right. go to the parking lot. You go into Randall's. Exactly. Go in, and, and you're always walking on concrete. And we animals actually go will to get H -E -B. Okay. H-E-B. Okay. H-E-B's good. I like that. <laughs> so. uh, but that's, that's where I shop in uh, Brownsville. There you have it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, it's just hard on you. So that's why you like the feel of it. And uh, it's just softer and a more true feel of a better floor. Oh, you know what H-E-B stands for? I know it's Her Herbert, and I know the last one's Butt. That's it. Her I, I just know it's E. I don't even know what his middle name is. I, I don't Her even, Herbert E. Butt. Yeah, Herbert E. Butt. Yeah, so I go to the Butt store. So <laughs> anyway, no buts about it. We're here to help you with your home improvement. Got us <laughs> out of that one. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Just go ahead and send us your questions. Help us out. Give us something to talk about. Visit homeshowradio.com. Click on that Ask Tom form. Send it in. We'll take it and answer it either in another one of these daily Ask Tom videos, our weekly Facebook Live, or Sunday morning on Ding. Early Edition.